<laughs> this is weird. We got a little bit of a situation going on. Well, it's not a situation, but it's kind of weird. We gave Megan the good camera because she's going out, or she went out with Nikki and John tonight, and we're using a different camera, and we're actually upside down in the viewfinder. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's a little weird looking at ourselves upside down. <laughs> I feel like I have to hold on to my seat. <laughs> anyway, it's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. I don't know which way to point. <laughs> they don't know. It's all right side up to them. It's strange. <laughs> it's confusing to us. Anyway, I want to give a shout out to... Melody Mainville's new channel she's going to be starting. I don't know if it's already up or not, but it's called Sleeved Mel 2015. And this channel is all about Melody's journey of getting the gastric sleeve. She's getting it on July 2nd. So her and I are going to be going through almost the same exact surgeries um, she's getting the sleeve, I'm getting the bypass at the same time. So I think that's pretty cool. We're going to be able to uh, kind of go through this journey together. I don't know my surgery date yet. I still have six weeks of classes and then they'll schedule me. But everybody go by and check it out and follow along on this journey with her as well as with me. And, okay, another thing with Melody, her and I are going to be starting a new business. We're going to be giving swinging and cr crawling lessons. What should we name our business? Leave your, mess, your comments down below. Rice. Right? Race? Race. Uh, how about Racy? Racy? Racy 1962. Okay. Racy 1962. Oh, Welcome to the neighborhood, and he came over from Dave Nicholson, and if you guys don't know who Dave Nicholson is, go check out his channel, he's awesome, and Ricey, welcome aboard, glad to Racy. have you. Racy! <laughs> oh, see, I'm upside down, so all the blood's rushing to my head. <laughs> okay, and Josie Gitto. Got that one right, Josie Gitto. Welcome to the neighborhood. Okay, my question last night was, if you were going to a social gathering, would you slip in and find somebody you know, slip in and go hide in the corner, or make a grand entrance and make your presence known? Here we go. Okay. Angie Lupus Life. Slip in, find someone she knows, um, because she has anxiety, and it helps to lower her anxiety when she's in a big crowd. Tanya Longley, slip in, she does not like being the center of attention. Greg Myers, slip in, look for someone he knows, but to make sure he says hi to the host, because that's very polite. Shalene TV, Shalene TV, you're my type of girl. Make her presence known. That's right. Vincent Gutierrez. Slip in, find someone he knows. He's too shy to make his present known. And hiding in the corner is no fun. So if no one he knows is there, he leaves. I pose a question to you, Vincent, and anybody else who answers this way. What, no limitations, would it take for you to go to a a party or a social gathering and even if there was no one you know there for you to go in and walk up to somebody and mingle what would it take for you to step out of your comfort zone to do that a certain person at a party a certain type of party what would it take think about it Okay, uh, Proudest Mama 77, around people she knows, she's the life of the party. Love it. But when there's a lot of people she doesn't know, she's super quiet and bashful. Why? What's the difference? My phone peaked. 
The Abyss 92882. Slip in and find someone I know. Um, if I don't know anyone, I hide in the corner. Because he only likes talking to people you know. Same question that I that I asked uh, Vincent Gutierrez. 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 <laughs> okay. And I need to apologize. First off, I've been saying this person's name wrong the entire time. I've been saying Dougie Styles. It's Doug E. Style. So sorry, Doug. I've been saying it wrong. Correcting it now. And he would find somebody he knows, if he goes at all, because he is an introvert, and his father was an extrovert, so he fell far from the tree, he said. So, Dougie, same question. Melody Mainville, another one. Make her present known. She loves the attention. She asked if that's weird. <laughs> if it's weird, who cares? I'm weird, too. Shalene TV? You're weird, too, because we all love the attention. Love it. Crimson Fairy looks for the host, observes, joins random conversations. She likes to observe people. Greeting the host is always a must because it's very polite. She used to just look for people she knows. She, but now she came out of her shell. Okay. Have you ever known Crimson Fairy to be in a shell? No. No. When was this Crimson Fairy? Which, by the way, I do want to give everybody, let everybody know, and I want to give a big thanks to Crimson Fairy. She went through the gastric bypass shortly, uh, like last year, and I'm going through the same thing. She's a very close friend of mine um, that lives close by me, and she today signed me up to join LA Fitness with her. She's paying for it, she's treating me for to it. And um, so after my gastric bypass surgery, I'm going to be able to go to the gym and work out with her and everything. So great big thank you, Crimson Fairy. I love you so very much. Maybe I get something done around here. <laughs> well, if you stop watching so many movies. <laughs> I love my singing monsters would hide in the corner, but realistic, realistically would not even go. Same question as Vincent Gutierrez to you. Bambi S. Slip in, find someone she knows. Awkward being the center of attention. No sense hiding in the corner. If you need to make your own appearance, slip in and then leave. If you need to make an appearance, you need to slip in and make sure you see the host and then leave. But, you know... Uh, same question. What would get you to step out of your comfort zone and, and mingle with people you didn't know? Betsy Wetsy, slip in and hide, does not like attention. What would it take to get you to step out of your comfort zone? Josie Ghetto. 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 Sorry. Josie Ghetto. Slip in and look for someone I know. If I can't find someone, hide in the corner. Same question. Terry Johnson, slip in and find someone I know, say hello to the host. Very polite to say hello to the host. What if you can't find someone you know, Terry? Same question. Bella Luna, slip in and get out without fan... F oh, oh, Bella Luna is the, the, the answer of the night. Answer of the night. Slip in and out without fanfare, unless I am establishing an alibi to cover a crime. Then I'll make my presence known. Answer of the night. Loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. That's all I have, guys. Wasn't that enough? But seriously, to anybody who answered, slip in, hide in the corner, slip in, find somebody you know. You don't have to answer this, but... If you want to, think about it. Seriously, without any limitations, what would it take for you to step outside of that comfort zone? Would it take somebody special being at the party? Um, a party being something special, event? What would it take for you to step outside of your comfort zone? Um, you wrote my question down in your book. So my question for tonight is... Kevin wrote it down for me. Let's see if I can read it. If you had unlimited resources, 
how would you live your life? If you had unlimited resources, how would you live your life? Oh, we, we didn't answer. What do you do at social events? Um, it is, if, it, if it's not my social event, which is what we usually do, um, I would uh, go in probably quietly, drink the place dry, uh, then I'd uh, make sure I didn't take off all my clothes and got out there without any incident. But if you were with me? Oh, well, if I this was, was before you, me. Um, I would go in and drink the place dry, and you'll make sure I keep all my clothes on. <laughs> Don't embarrass myself and you. I, I'm sorry, but I would have to say most people that create a YouTube channel love attention. No. Okay. I'm extremely shy and quiet and, and I don't like any attention whatsoever. Heck no! I am out there, loud, proud, I talk to everybody and anybody. We go to a store, I'm talking, I'm pushing our channels. I'm Anywhere I go, I talk to everybody. And right now, I talk to everybody about the neighbors. So, heck, I'm not shy at all. Okay. At a party, I'm there. Everybody knows I'm there. Okay. Okay. It's time for Neighborhood Community <laughs> This looks weird. <laughs> Credit roll. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so last night's question was about the movie uh, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark from 2010. <laughs> Am I rubbing off on you? As usual. Uh, and the question was, what were the runes that was carved in the stone over the entrance to wherever? Runes. Runes. And it said, Be Afraid! In Elder Futhark. <laughs> Elder Futhark. Okay? And um, so, which is a, a Norse ancient language. And, those who got that right was Terry Johnson, Bella Luna, Tanya Longley, Ban BS, and Greg Myers. Yay! Yay! Tonight's question has to do with Zombieland. Good movie. 2009. Really? That old already? Yeah. Wow! What was... Why, is the question, does Tallahassee paint a number three on the cars that he drives? I know this answer, but I can't think of it off of the top of my head, because maybe the top of my head is upside down and it's all falling out. Okay. Weird thing. <laughs> you are all part of our neighborhood community. Each and every one of you out there! We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you. We love you all so very much. Wait, that's upside down. Can we do it this way? <laughs> Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you all tomorrow.